Vertical Aerospace, massive milestone achieved, massive news. Let's find out. Hey up everyone, welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. And I've got some great news coming directly, directly from Vertical Aerospace themselves. What has been going on? Well, we know that Vertical Aerospace have been pretty heavily test flying their aircraft, their VX4 prototype. Now we are coming to the end of one test phase. And this is a great milestone because it's proving the aircraft is sound, safe and is performing as Vertical Aerospace are expecting and designed, have designed the aircraft to perform. So what's going on? I will read out this news, uh, piece of news from Vertical Aerospace and I will offer you, I will offer you nice footage, uh, again, directly from Verti anyone, anybody else than Vertical Aerospace. So Vertical Aerospace prepares for final transition, testing after successful wingborne flights. <clears throat> Phase 3 wingborne testing completed with full-scale VX4 prototype. You can see right next to me. Demonstrating stable and efficient flight on the wing. Aircraft exceeded expectations across piloted flight tests covering 250 miles or 400 kilometers, collecting over 22 billion data points. So I think it's safe to say we can consider this a great success. Final flight test stage, which is transition, uh, basically what's going on. This is this is the eVTOL aircraft. This aircraft is designed to take off uh, vertically and land vertically and transition into horizontal flight uh, for efficiency and various reasons. So far, vertical aerospace in this phase three have been testing on a CTOL, which means conventional takeoff and landing aircraft or uh, flight. That means the aircraft has been moving or was moving only uh, horizontally. Now, in the fourth phase, which is coming very soon, and you will find out, uh, you'll find out why and how, uh, they will be performing the full transition, which is very complex maneuver. Uh, those who follow us, you know, we talk about it every show. It's very complex maneuver. There's a lot of stuff to coordinate to perform it safely and efficiently. So uh, the transition is now underway and it's targeted to be completed by year end. F uh, progress reflects continued regulator confidence as vertical advances toward type certification in 2028. More detail to be shared at Vertical Capitals Market Day, 17th of September in New York. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a little teaser for this conference. So don't go anywhere. I will just explain and dive deep into the phase three, which is now successfully completed. Vertical Aerospace, a global aerospace and, and technology company pioneering electric aviation, today announced the successful completion of phase three piloted, wing, piloted wingborne flight testing of its VX4 aircraft. The full scale VX4 which you can see in the footage next to me, has now taken off, flown and landed like a conventional aircraft with lift generated by its wings. It's quiet. Low power mode is essential for making electric air travel practical, scalable and economically viable and also safer. The wingborne phase included flights by chief test pilot Simon Davies and test pilot Paul Stone, switching between direct, which is manual, and flight, which is computer assisted control modes. The VX4 performed as modeled in, in the simulator, validating both the design and ease of handling. So, what you can see next to me is the actual footage of the prototype with the pilot in the cockpit. This is no CGI, this is just the actual flight. How amazing is that? Working closely with the UK Civil Aviation Authority, which is collaborating with the European Union Aviation Safety Agency for their concurrent validation and certification of the VX4 to the highest safety standards required for commercial use, vertical secured approvals for flight testing in open airspace by extending its permits 
permit to fly following a rigorous review of safety and technical documentation. Well, what does it mean? That means that the regulatory bodies are happy with uh, the vertical aerospaces VX4 aircraft with its performance and with its safety standards. That's one thing. And another thing, that means for vertical aerospace, they don't have to wait for another permit. They can just go right tomorrow. It might happen, it might not, but they can go right away tomorrow and fly the aircraft and start testing the transition mode. So what? <clears throat> since completing Europe's first ever piloted wingborne flight on a winged eVTOL in May 2025, Vertical has completed piloted flight tests covering 250 miles or 400 kilometers. And if I am right, my estimate is that this is across uh, 12 to 15 flights. Pushing it, pushing it very far, which is good. Again, it shows confidence of vertical aerospace in their aircraft performance and safety. They reached a top speed of 120 knots or 222 kilometers. And I think it translates to 140 something miles. And the altitude of 2000 feet, which is about 600 meters. And it collected over 22 billion data points, validating aerodynamic models, acoustic levels, system reliability and performance. Vertical will now move to the final test stage, transition, proving the VX4's ability to shift seamlessly between the vertical lift, which is helicopter mode, and wingborne flight, which is the airplane mode, if you want to call it this way. The defining, the defining capability of a tilt rotor eVTOL aircraft, which means it can take off and land in a, sm uh, in a small place. This will be the operating mode it will use in passenger service. So these aircraft are originally designed and intended for urban environment. You can't have long run runways in highly density, uh, in uh, densely populated cities. Uh, these are basically a step between an aircraft and a helicopter. It's taking the best out of the both worlds. What did the CEO Stuart Simpson say about the vertical aerospace's achievement? Completing windborne flight is a historic milestone for vertical and the VX4. Each phase strengthens confidence among, among regulators, partners and investors that our aircraft will meet the highest standards of safety and performance. Now we enter the most exciting stage, transition testing, demonstrating the mode the VX4 will use in passenger service. And we also have comment from Simon Davies, the chief test pilot. Paul Stone and I, uh, Paul Stone and I have had the privilege of flying this machine through its wingborne test phase. It's been incredibly rewarding with the aircraft performing just like the simulator during our first flights in open airspace. With the high quality data we have gathered and the, the ability to test at both high and low speeds, we are in the best possible place to explore transition with our proven tools and flight test team. And I also, and I also have a little teaser for you for next week. Uh, vertical, oh, there, there has been some uh, big, uh, good piece of news as well, going in line with these certification efforts. Vertical continues to target type certification in 2028, working currently with the CAA and EASA with validation across the regulators, regulators to follow. On 3rd of September, Vertical also announced the appointment of Patrick Kai, former EASA executive director to its board. So uh, Patrick Kai had, had been or was in this posi position for 10 years, has vast experience, there's decades of experience with certification, processes, safety, you name it. So Vertical are not messing around, they are just going forward to the, to the certification. Yes, certification is 2028, it's two years away. However, their operational expenses are much lower. It's a fraction of the 
uh, operational expenses of the market leading companies. That is Archer and Joby. And Vertical have beaten Archer again. They have beaten Archer to complete the uh, horizontal or the CTOL test phase. So there we go. And there is also a little there's also a little summary an explanation of the of the flight test phases so i will not th read through it you can pause the video and also we have some uh, we have little teaser next week there is a conference a very significant conference where we could see some great updates from the ceo uh simon davy um from the ceo um i just lost the name sorry <laughs> From the CEO, sorry about that. So I'm onto something. We might be able to bring you the conference on this channel live, as we do. You know that conferences, uh, the conferences, the investor conferences are very important because there is a lot going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of institutional investors involved in these conferences. And us, as retail investors, we usually get it the day later or a couple of days later if there are any updates or any news. So I might get you a ticket to the first row. However, you will have to bring your own popcorn. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You enjoyed this amazing footage from Vertical Aerospace. I was blown away. When I saw the, the footage, I was, yeah, I was speechless. Great job. Thank you, Vertical Aerospace team, for working with us closely. Uh, we have great relation with Vertical Aerospace. Because, maybe because, maybe not because of that, but we are bringing you Vertical Aerospace updates pretty much weekly, if not daily. And the whole eVTOL market you can find here on Martin Lucas' channel with me, Vaz. So if you enjoyed this video and if you are invested in Vertical Aerospace, don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscription, costs you nothing and you will get your weekly or daily updates. That's it from me. Don't go anywhere. There'll be a link pinned in the chat. There's a link under the video and this event should take you in the next event, which will be a little investor guidebook for Archer investors. So we'll give you some updates on Archer and I will tell you about the coming milestones. I was going to do the same. Funny enough, I was going to do the same on Vertical Aerospace, but they beat me to it today. However, there'll be one more coming for, for Vertical Aerospace later in the week as well. And we'll go through this again and I will tell you what milestones are ahead so you, as an investor, can sleep well. <laughs> That's it from me. When you are, if you are watching it, there is a link to my playlist. Here is exclusive Vertical Aerospace interview I did in the Royal International Air Tattoo on the ground talking about this very aircraft and giving you the ins and outs. That's it from me. Take care of yourselves and each other.